So I thought, while I had your attention, I would, the one thing you could come away with is one of the great nature poems of all time by Basho uh, that will, ought, should stay in your head. It goes like this. As for the hibiscus by the roadside, my horse ate it. Terrific poem. The, uh, an, another is, is the beginning of a poem, three, three lines, that for me is another of the amazing nature poems. That, and it's the beginning, the first three lines of Gary Snyder's Myths and Text, which goes, the evening, the morning star is not a star. Two seedling firs, one died. Eo, eo. I've never asked Gary whether that eo was the heifer that Zeus copulated with uh, in one of the many stories in which the human imagination felt like there had to be a sexual relationship between animals and, and divinities and humans, or if it was just the cry of the Bichantes. Is that what they're called? You say it hard sea or soft sea? Bichantes in uh, the play of Euripides, the women who go wild. I think the next line in that poem is a quotation from uh, an anthropologist saying, the May Queen is a survival of a pre-human rutting season. Uh, it's a very powerful thing about, he written in 1955, since we're talking about writing nature in an age of science, to say these two, three things together. One, the evening star is not a star. Morning star. At the end of the poem, it comes the evening star. The morning star is not a star. Years and years of human intelligence to come to that account of the wandering stars. And then two seedling fur, one died. That's the same as, as for the hibiscus by the roadside, my horse ate it. And then Eo, Eo calls up the whole world of the unconscious, which is supposedly the business of poetry and its relation to nature. I found myself thinking about beginning with the idea of how to speak about um, nature in the age of science, writing nature in an age of science. And I thought, Lucretius thought he was writing nature in an age of science. And John Donne, when he's writing the anniversaries, thought he was writing nature in an age of science because the whole cosmos had come uncentered and needed to be resorted out.